The robot functions using four motors to drive around and constantly keep moving and turning. Uh, it also runs on four sensors. Two of them are mounted in the front and two on each side, one on either side. When the front sensors are tripped, it will spin around just a little less than 180 degrees in order to create a good sweep effect. If the side sensors are pressed, it allows it allows a change slight direction. Yeah. Hello, my name is Dan Moulton and I am going to be talking about how our vacuum robot program was created. Uh, this was a project that myself along with Mr. Stagnita and about 10 other students worked on during my student placement, teaching placement here at Skinny Atlas. The program is based on running a vacuum that has four motors continuously driving as well as four switches continuously checking the, uh, the environment around it. The program starts over here and then goes through several cascading switch commands which you can see through here. The first of which, the first block that you see is a loop that continuously goes around going into a go program that is a, created as a my block that I'll get into in a second. We reach the first switch <coughs> that evaluates and if it's pressed it will stop back up and turn around and then continue to go back to the beginning uh, all the other switches work in the same way if the switch is not pressed it'll check the next switch and the next switch and finally the fourth switch and turn around All right, and then <clears throat> in order to create these blocks we had to use a my block builder which we can see right here uh, it doesn't need to be created in a separate program, although to edit them, it will bring them up in a separate program, and it works very well as an organization tool and a tool to save them all. Um, so you need to create a program. You'll set, have a play button, and each of the motors, because this is a four-wheel drive program, there is no four-wheel drive function on the EV3 software. So we have to create each individual block to do what we want. We have a set for motor A, motor B, motor C, and motor D. Uh, we have them set to turn continuously on and then checking the switches for the next stops. Um, in order to create this block, we have to go to select all the blocks that we need to use, and excluding this play switch. The switch needs to be connected but does, cannot be selected in order to make the block. We need to come up to tools and we go to my block builder where we can use this menu in order to create our block in this we enter a name say forward or drive I said vacuum go um, and then in the side we can put a small description of what it could be uh, and then finally down here we can choose an icon of what we would like to you our block to look like so for this block this is our go block we have just the little tank motion icon. These blocks, any block that you create or find, these are the ones that are required for this program, can be found under this final tab. So we can see go as well as up here, stop, and all up here, and so on. Uh, the cascading switch function is very, very important and checks very, very fast. If any switch is pressed, it will run its program, and then even if the, another switch is pressed at the same exact time, it can run it again. Four-wheel drive function actually functions. Uh, the motors are mounted backwards, so as it drives through, it must be going, each motor is going in a negative direction. Stop. As it backs up, each motor is going positive for a certain amount of time. The turn is evaluated by time. And then the final the switches are mounted on the sides and allow the robot to turn slightly in order to avoid an obstacle.